Hello everybody and welcome back to more Crusader Kings 2. As always, I'm Oren. And um, to get things started off, just want to take a little peek here. It looks like Scandinavia is fine. Some people are marching around, my vassals are fighting with each other, but they're always doing that. And uh, I'm trying, I'm sitting here and I'm trying to think, you know, Scotland's our next best target. He's pretty weak right now. He's at war with England. He's suffering from revolt. Uh, when it rains, it pours. We need to hit Scotland. But I'm I'm kind of having a hard time picking which county I want to take. I'm, I think I'm leaning on an, an Inscal, though. Not because it's a particularly good county. You know, we could take Gowry and it'd be much better. But just, you know, the whole uh, theme we're going here. We want to take the most northern counties first because you know we're you know we're fighting that's what we do we work down so yeah except maybe england in england we're definitely going to land in uh york because that's that's what you do man you land in york so we're going to pull these guys over here and I don't think I'm going to declare war somewhere else and like dual task these wars. I think I'm just going to go ahead and raise up my troop and get everything working. And actually, I think I'm going to pull this boat over here and just let these guys chill for them to come over. I will take this 500 as well. I think that worked. Like, uh, my retinue can go ahead and land and start having fun while this goes over here and picks up these guys. And. Yeah, there you go. I like that. How much fun can my retinue have? Not a whole lot. We'll wait for the rest of the military to get there. Before we start siege and stuff. And we'll go ahead and form this up with the second army. We'll go ahead and speed it up to times four. And we rush. Um, it's not the cleanest rush in the world. More Catholics are coming to try to convert me. I refuse to let this happen. They're going to jail. Oh, I didn't actually mean to uh, close that. Um, that's fine. Danzig died from period of illness. We can rush. We can rush. Get there. Um, now, as a unit, I think we will move. Is he done? Right like that? He's willing to give? Well, hell, that wasn't too bad. Shit, yeah, buddy. You're on it. Okay. Uh, military, go ahead and stand those guys down. Go ahead and hop. Uh, these boats, just land these boats down there. Uh, dismiss the Norwegian boats. These guys can get working. Where? Where do these guys want to get working at? In Brittany? Brittany doesn't sound like a bad option. What's his soldiers look like? Uh, he doesn't have them. Yeah, they can go ahead and start getting down to Brittany. Um, here, I need to create new vassals. And intrigue. We'll go ahead and take a peek if anybody wants to help me kill my wife. One guy for 5%, my mother for 20 That's it. Um, we could present a noble to court, or we could just find a nitling that's not doing anything. Um, we went ahead and grabbed Bjorn. Um, I guess Godfrey would be next? He's a kinslayer. Don't really appreciate that. But, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure he's very repentant. And we'll give him Sudrager. Sudrager, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And then uh, Bjorn will be next in line for the Duchy of Mure, or whatever that turns into, and he will be in line for the Duchy of Sudoragia. Um, We are home in Brittany, so we can go ahead and declare war for probably this one. I feel like this one makes the most sense. Uh, who are you, Haraldir of Leon? We need to get another Nitling for Leon. And 
here. Maybe off of Theon. Um, Boltfer? Boltfer wouldn't be too bad. We could make him King of Brittany. Got a claim on Denmark, but it's weak. Um, doesn't look like he stands to inherit anything. What about Mecklenburg? Does he have any children? No, but he is young, and his wife is lustful, so I'm sure it won't come down to that. Um, yeah, it looks like it probably... Oh, I guess we could give it to Boborn. We'll give it to the... Oh no, this is somebody completely different. Where's this kid at? Botford. There we go. Right there. My click accuracy going. We play war for this. Go ahead and jump these guys in. Double check, make sure he doesn't have any allies. He doesn't. Probably a good idea to do that before you start declaring war on people. Crush the majority of his army right there. Um, and what's this? 18th of May, 18th of May. That may work, that may not. It did work. Go ahead and walk down here. Crush this 800. No survivors. Pull up here. Crush this 400. 19th of June, 22nd of June. We can go straight into here. Got him. 73%. Nope. Walk up north. Pull these guys in here. Oh, this man I need arrested. Another one I want to assassinate. Hmm. Um, I don't really care. I guess I'll take assassination chance. I'm probably not going to need to arrest anybody. I hardly ever arrest anybody in this game. Our fort level is four, but we have a lot of garrison, which is pretty disappointing. I really doubt we're going to be able to rush the siege. Scotland hasn't ended their revolt yet. This is taking down. Our moral authority is at 46. Piety is at 600. I would like to go raiding one of these days, but there's just more important things to do. So many wars to declare. Taking the seat the hard way and the long way. Sure, it'll be fine. Botfer has contracted measles. Prison, yep. And it didn't lose the play. Oh, Snorri, it had to happen one day, man. I'm sorry. It had to happen one day. You lost Jerusalem. This guy is apparently still heir to the Duchy of Jerusalem, though. I don't know how. I guess Snorri is still a... Who holds the Duchy of Jerusalem? Nobody. Okay. So that's not... That's just not true at all. Um... There might be some worth in Snorri's kids because they are nitlings and they are the sons of badass. They are the sons of a badass. Um, I could grant this guy a land of title. I guess I could give this guy Brittany instead of the kid that just got measles. Yeah, we'll do that. So we'll go ahead and take Leon from this guy because he doesn't deserve it. Now we'll pop back on over to Sterla Snorrison. You magnificent bastard. And we'll go ahead and give you Leon. Good. Short rain modifier. Okay. Sure. And then after we take this, we'll just give it to him as well. <laughs> this is almost done. And there go my frames. My frames are gone. Okay, let's go ahead and speed this down a little bit. Oh my god, are they gonna come back? 
pause the game for a second. I'm gonna just make a break in the recording here. Maybe my frames will come back. Yeah, the walls are locked. Oh. Yeah, okay, they came back for a second. Okay, let's hope. Everything's going good. Press the siege, get it done. A prisoner is complaining because she's a prisoner, that's fine. Will you give up? No. Fantastic. More rushing. This uh, hurts so much. Whatever. Yep, get it done. 100%. Focus demands, very good. Uh, go ahead and... I don't have anything to stand down. I don't have anything for more. Okay. Create a new vassal. Create a new vassal. And I now have the piety required. Never mind, it's 750. Okay. And this number is going down because someone, somewhere, lost a holy war. Fantastic. I don't know which Norseman just lost a holy war. <sighs> Nori, god damn it, Nori. Son of a bitch. Okay. Nori lost the holy war for Jerusalem. Grand landed title. I'm gonna go ahead and give him that as well. These guys are hopping into this boat. We have a truce here, truce here, truce here. Um, we jump in on Gwynedon, but it doesn't look like that's gonna last long enough. The King of England. What's he packing? 16,000. Is he still allied with the Carelings? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. <laughs> okay, maybe not that. We could go raiding and burn down some temple, some uh, churches that might put us over, but it's a lot of churches we gotta burn down. Um, we could probably take the tip off Cornwall. I think it's probably gonna be our next best bet. We go ahead and take the tip off Cornwall. Conquest of Cornwall. These guys get help. Oh, we're gonna get the neg mods for uh, landing, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, they have no morale, they just raise. Just crush them. Um, we'll go there and come right back. Let's set this boat down because there's no point for it to be cluttering up the screen. There and right back. The wars go back, call in Moray. Do not care. I just dispatched Moray not so long ago. Fort level here is four and a half, but we have a mountain number to reasonably well. More bishops are trying to convert me. That's not gonna happen. Odin for life. And that's that rush isn't so bad. Jarl Bjorn. Curlin. 95 gold. That rep increase. And there go my frame. What do you know? We'll give him draw city, that's 15. That'll help. I can always give him 95 gold later if he starts to uh, act crazy. There we go. And my frames are right back. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna. Oh, never mind. They're right back. It's not done. Okay. <laughs> These frame drops, guys. I don't know. Oh, I gotta fix to where it doesn't happen as. Oh, this is a terrible rush too. We're losing like 400 guys. Whatever. 100%. Thank you. I got it fixed so it's not like as bad as it was, but it's still pretty rough. We can create that temple holding there, and look at that. Look at that! Son of a gun, guys. We freaking did it. 
we freaking did it. Let's go ahead and we fix that. Do I want to put another Nitling in Cornwall? Cornwall is only two counties. I might as well, right? I mean, at this point, everybody might as well just be a Nitling. There's no real reason not to be. Bjorn's got stuff going on, so does he. Um, Boltfer. Has Boltfer died of measles yet? No. Okay, Boltfer, your time. It's your time to shine. You get Cornwall. And we don't need to have any more anymore. Um, we can go ahead and stand down that part of the army. Um, I have a truce here now, so yeah. There we go, we picked off quite a bit of stuff. And uh, the religion can now be reformed. Which I promise will be interesting. Because it'll basically create... <laughs> I don't know why I'm explaining it when I can just show it. The Norse Reformation. The ancient Norse religion is proving unable to withstand the onslaught of the cross and the moon. Rather than abandoning the old ways, Bilik Starkadir, the first and the most powerful priest, have decided to reform the Norse faith. With codified rites, a holy scripture, and a strict church hierarchy under a single leader. They hope that the reformed Norse faith is a better arm to fight back against the weak and effeminate foreign beliefs. For Odin. For Odin has become Bjergir of the Bjergirate. Sure. And the head of the Norse religion. Because why not? Who better to do it? So, yes, this gives us a lot of different things, primarily under laws, we can now, uh, after we've reigned for 10 years and we crank our crown authority up, oh, it's got to be high for pretty much nature. Um, we may do elective. I'd like to crank it up to medium anyway, and then we'll just do elective. I feel like that's probably all right. So we can go ahead and crank it up to medium now. I'm sure that'll pass. Enough people love me. Speaking of vassals having a negative opinion of me, it's really only a couple of people, correct? Old Norse. Look at that. Heretic and zealous. Man, religious conversion. Absolutely not. Um, who else has a negative opinion of me? Estonia. Go ahead and send me. Demand religious conversion. See that? Now, we can demand the rig religious conversion. So, yes. We will do that. Um, he's complaining about his cell. I believe this should still let us blot when it's time. So we'll go ahead and release the Estonian guy from jail after he repents. There it is. How much does he hate us now? See, look at that, guys. He doesn't hate us at all. We're still foreign because he's Estonian and we're Norse, but... We're the same religion now. And now nobody has a... Uh, nobody has a negative opinion of me. So we can, in theory, change it to elective after our vassals calm down. And look at that. It's shooting up, like, real quick. Um, hmm, technology, there's probably something we can do to technology, but not right now. Um, our retinue cap has dropped significantly, and I bet our army levies have to do Oh no, why did our retinue cap drop so much? And why not our army levies? Like, I'd understand if people are just, okay, and we'll look at this too. Yeah, old Norris, 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 old Norris. This is all very Catholic. It's still very Romula. But it seems like most people came with me. Like, Norse. He came with me. He's Norse. 
Um, let's see who else. I imagine that most of my vassals did end up coming with me. King of Norway is Norse. Let's look at, like, this guy down here. These guys had to have been. Like, this guy here must have stuck. No, he's still Norse. So I don't know. Norris, yeah, no. A lot of people came with me, so that wasn't nearly as rough as I thought it would be. But uh, it did put a deeper religious divide in our nation than we previously previously had. I know this guy stuck, right? Did this guy stick around? Yeah, old Nor Norse heresy. But this also gives us options when we are declaring war. We can now declare holy wars for duchies and great holy wars for countries, which is absolutely huge. It's so much better than, like, Muslim invasions because it doesn't cost us piety to start with. If we win the war, we gain a shitload of moral authority and a whole lot of other good stuff. And the Catholics lose moral authority, which is fantastic because as the Catholics lose moral authority, this doesn't look like this anymore. Little bitty heresies pop up everywhere. And then the Catholics will tear themselves apart. Which is what we need for to break up like the Caroling like a uh, super compact. We need to like break their moral authority here, break their moral authority here. Um, I don't know if there's any way of me to actually look at the Catholic moral authority. I don't believe there is. There may be. But yeah, North Faith. Shit is pretty top, guys. Uh, Emperor Stark Deer. Even though people say he's the drunkard, he's actually not too bad. 2,500 prestige at the age of 42. No piety currently, but it's just because we spent it all. Um, England soldier-wise is... They're, I mean, they're admirable. We got them beat out by, you know, 10,000 or 13,000, but they're definitely nothing to laugh at, that's for sure. Definitely nothing to laugh at. Scotland would probably be a better pull. Oh, I don't want that. But yeah, um, I've been recording this episode for a while, I think, so I'm just going to end it here. Um, if my game doesn't crash, which it looks like it might. Oh, I hope it doesn't crash. Oh, reformation. Reformation. But yeah, no. This episode, these last uh, three episodes went pretty well. Well, we uh, crushed our revolts, picked up some land, and formed north. So uh, next time what we're going to try to do is establish elective succession i think maybe we might do one more round of gavelkind because gavelkind ain't hurting me yet uh we're definitely gonna get it to media maybe one more kid with gavelkind and then he cranks it to high and switches it to primogeniture or maybe we'll put it to seniority does seniority need seniority needs medium so we may just put it on seniority Seniority is not that bad. I mean, it's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, elective doesn't seem very Viking to me. I still... I'm still a Viking at heart, I think. Even... Even though, I mean... I do understand how it would help me conquer the world. I... I think... I think primogeniture. I think we take Gavelkind into primogeniture for the sake of roleplay, if nothing else. I know I don't roleplay as strictly as I could, but... I mean, I try. I try really hard to roleplay. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, we're gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys as always for watching. Um, I'm Oren. Oh, and one more thing, I almost forgot. I mentioned, meant to mention this earlier. Uh, I wanna do some multiplayer Crusader Kings games with like my subscribers and stuff like that because I think I'm at like 23 subscribers now which is actually like 
way more subscribers than I ever thought I would ever get <laughs> playing Crusader King. You know, I figured if I played like Call of Duty or freaking Team Fortress 2 or something, I would get like a bunch of subscribers, but I never thought playing Crusader Kings would get at like 23 or whatever it is. But I can't like, it's just like, I'm not nearly smart enough to figure out how to play uh, Crusader Kings 2 multiplayer with like opening your ports and everything. Like I do everything it says on the forums and I still can't figure it out. So if you've like done a ton of Crusader Kings 2 multiplayer games and you like got this shit down, uh, if you can like give me, send me a message on YouTube, I'm pretty sure you can do that. You can just message me. That'd be great. Because I'd love to do some multiplayer games with subscribers. So yeah, if you know anything about that, that'd be great. If not, I'm just poking around looking at the carlings. Oh, they're all so powerful. And we can't attack England because they got treaties and shit. Oh man, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh well, we'll figure that out later. Yeah, see you guys later.